Hey, what is going on viewers? Zesty Lime Studios here and welcome back to another drinks review. Today we're reviewing this Soul and Mar drink, Cloudy Lemonade. Basically it's Lidl's, one of Lidl's kind of own brand, uh, Cloudy Lemonade drinks with their kind of own brand. So they got it out of Lidl, it was dirt, dirt cheap, I think it was like 20p or something crazy like that, I don't know where the receipt's gone, but it was really, really cheap because, you know, it's out of Lidl. So yeah, we'll see how that is based on the price. So anyways, let's give you guys a 4360 of the can. So we have a somewhat kind of, it's a, it's a somewhat simple looking can, but it does look fairly cool for, you know, a kind of cheap brand. So we have this red band around the top of the can, and then the rest of the can is kind of in this orangey type colour. Rather than being yellow, it seems to just be more orange than anything else, which is, I don't know, a bit weird seeing as it's lemon, but you know what? It's just the colour of the can, so it really doesn't matter. On the back, we've got the ingredients and stuff, and on the front, We've kind of got a black back in we obviously a lemon there slices of lemon lined up there looking very nice uh the black background like i said we've got again more kind of artwork around the sides and the solar mar logo so it does look you know like a decent brand as such but of course we all know it's just a little brand just from that and very simple on the back not too much to explain but just some simple uh you know ingredients and stuff like that which you'll have a read in a second on the bottom we've got nothing and on the top everything's a standard and silver including the pour ring as well Taking a close look at the drink, yes, it literally is just a cloudy lemonade drink, nothing more. So this is half sugar. It does contain 4.7 grams per 100 ml of sugar. So it is half sugar, which is half what the old average used to be. And looking at the ingredients, again, we have simple stuff, 6% lemon juice from concentrate. The sweeteners are Suraclose and Asulaflame K, so no aspartamate, which is good. But apart from that, there is nothing else of interest on the can. And it is vegan, if anyone is wondering. It does say vegan on there. So anyways, it's nice and cold. I have got a cup, let's get straight to it. Hopefully it won't explode over me. So I'm guessing the color is gonna be the standard kind of lemonade color, which we all expect, which is that kind of white color. Um, some of them can be clear. If it's obviously like kind of just plain lemonade, then yes, it generally is clear in color rather than it being, you know, this cloudy white color, which generally other lemonade drinks are. But um, yeah, so I'm guessing the color white. Hopefully it doesn't explode over me. Okay, lovely dump. All right, and the colour is? The cup is a bit misty, actually. I'm just going to give it a quick wipe because the cup has been in the fridge as well. Right. Hey, viewers, Zesty Lime Studios here. If you want to save 10% discount on any of these Zest Gamer products, don't forget to use code ZESTYLS. The code will be in the description below. These are my two personal favourites, Horus and Hyper Beast. Thanks, guys. There we go. Hey, surprise, surprise. Although it's looking a bit, hmm, it's looking a bit more yellow than white than anything. <laughs> so, yeah, it's looking uh, a bit yellow. So we'll get to that in just a second. But fizz-wise, it seems to be somewhat in the middle for fizz. It doesn't seem to be super, super fizzy like Coke or something. And it definitely seems to be more fizzy than, say, lightly sparkling or something like that. And not too many bubbles on the side. And there wasn't too many bubbles on the top either while pouring it out. So anyway, taking a closer look at the colour. Yes, it seems to be yellow, which is... I know yellow makes sense because it's lemonade, but like I said, bearing in mind, lemonade is generally white or clear. So for this to be a bit yellow, it was a bit of a, yeah, a bit of a shock. I mean, it looks like it's gone off, which is worrying, but I know this is well in date because it's from Lidl and I recently bought this and it goes out of date in 2023. That's like two years away. So it's well in date. It just, it looks out of date, but it's not. Um, yeah, I'm just not used to seeing yellow lemonade, to be honest with you. I know it's normally it's white or clear. Anyways, and it is uh, cloudy, as you can't see my face through the drink. So let's give it a closer smell now and see what we can smell of. Ooh. Yeah, it smells really lemony, but like it smells like you're actually smelling the lemon f uh, the lemon fruit itself. Whereas when you s kind of smell other lemonades, it, they smell of that fizzy lemonade smell, if that makes sense. I.e. they don't smell of like actual real lemonades. This smells like you've just pressed fresh lemonade which is a good thing in a way but it also it also smells it just smells very sourly soury i think it, it, it reminds me of grapefruit i know obviously they're kind of within that same bracket like when you buy into them they kind of make you oh they make you shiver but yeah oh yeah it does smell really 
really strong, but well, nevertheless, guys, hopefully it's got lots of flavour. Let's try some. Hmm, that's quite nice. Initial reaction, quite nice. Hmm. Mm, that is nice. Now, of course, because it is a little brand, it's going to be of quality. Now, what I mean by that is because even though it's Audi or Lidl, for example, it's still somewhat a brand as such. But because it's not like a cheap kind of random brand, it's going to be decent to some point, if that even makes sense. So, for example, you go into Pound Stretcher or Pound Land, you see a completely random drink with a random brand they never heard of. It's probably going to taste like pretty crap or cheap, but because this is, you know, Lidl and Audi, they're designed to copy kind of the big brands. It's going to be somewhat decent, you know. So and so far, I am impressed with this. Yeah. That is nice. That is really nice. So, yeah, I am quite impressed with that. It's only for the price, but again, that's down to being Lidl, Audi being cheaper than everything else on the planet. But I'm really impressed with that. So. With the drink, obviously you've got beginning, midsection, end, ending, and then the aftertaste of the drink. Now, before we get into that, the sugar-wise, as it is half sugar, I think the sugar balance is spot on with this drink. So there's a little bit of sweetness in there, but it's not, you know, it's not, it's not overly sweet by any means at all. It's not overly syrupy by any means whatsoever, but it's not under-sweetened or under-sugar by any, any point either as well. So I think there's just a little bit of sugar in there, which is I think just a perfect, just a perfect amount for this specific blend of drink because you've got just you've just got a decent amount of sweetness there, just a good amount. I'd say it's just below half for the sweetness and kind of average, you know, sweetness levels. But it's right; it's just perfect for this drink. So the sweetness is spot on with that. So you still get a little bit of sugar sweetness, but it's done right. And as I said, syrupy wise, it's not syrupy or anything like that whatsoever. Because again, the syrup and stuff is generally more of an American thing than it is over here in England or slash Europe. So syrup wise, it's not that, you know, syrupy either, which is a good thing. Because again, these, these syrupy fizzy drinks, they can be a bit too much um, like the American ones can be. But anyways, so that's kind of the sweetness side to it. But the drink itself, yes, it is ultimately lemonade. But with the beginning and midsection of the drink, I drink it, you get a nice lemonade flavor. But again, the kind of very beginning of the drink, it tastes like you are actually drinking real lemon. So you really can taste that real nice lemon taste at the beginning. And then it kind of drops off fairly quick. And then you kind of get towards the midsection and then towards the ending of the drink, you get this kind of just then generic lemonade taste. Not a bad lemonade taste, it's still nice, but it's just you get that lemonade flavor. And based on that, you know, that is definitely better than, you know, some of the supermarket, some of the other supermarket owned lemonades or stuff like that. I mean, yes, I know it's got sugar in it. So ultimately, you know, you wouldn't drink this every day. And I think Lidl do have a, like an actual diet lemonade, like in a massive bottle. And of course, that'll probably taste different to this because that's, I guess, Lidl's super value brand rather than this somewhat, you know, uh, more upper brand within Lidl supermarket, if that makes sense. So yes, the cheaper lemonade may taste different to what this does. But in terms of this, I'm impressed with this as a lemonade. So, like I said at the beginning, you've got the real nice lemon taste at the beginning, and then that drops off, and then you've got the nice overall whole lemonade flavour throughout the rest of the drink to overall just make up a really nice lemonade drink. So, yeah, simply these cans just to drink and enjoy as, as a can is nice, or maybe you could mix it with something else. But um, no, I am I'm impressed with that. Let me try some out of the can. It just tastes nice. Because, again, some of these lemon, lemon drinks, they taste like bleach or chemicals or toilet cleaner or stuff like that this doesn't this lemon flavor doesn't have any of those chemical tastes or anything like that so i really am impressed with this for the price mm, that is nice so okay guys cool yep that, i'll give that drink a thumbs up so if you are a little definitely pick this up and give it a try if you do like the cloudy lemonade drinks if not then i don't know just still give it a try to see what you think of it but Anyways, viewers, as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to check that description below. You can follow me on TikTok, Instagram, or Twitter. Or if you want to support the channel, you can check out my Patreon. Minimum support is £1, and I'll go towards new drinks, which means new videos for the channel. So as always, thanks for watching.